Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be playing with the Pirates of the Caribbean set from Lorac. So here's what the eyeshadow palette looks like. I think the palette itself is really, really pretty. I like that it has this little trap door on the side where you can slide in your little cheek palette if you happen to purchase the cheek palette. So the little door just goes like that so you can put it right inside of there. I think that's a really neat feature that they added to this. The colors inside of the eyeshadow palette look like this right here, so I think the colors are very pretty. And I find that I've been able to create several different eye looks using this palette. It's not one of those palettes that you get that you're like, hmm, well, I created two eye looks, that's all I'm getting. No, I think you can create several different eye looks using this palette. And then the face palette itself looks like this. Let me show you. Is it a face palette or a cheek palette? I'm not sure what they call it. Let's see, does it say on the back? No, it does not. I have no idea. So, whoops, I just about nicked it with my fingernail. So there's what the cheek palette looks like. It's got some blushes and some highlights inside of there. So I think those colors are really pretty. They're very universal. I feel like it goes a little bit bold, but not too bold. And then it goes very light toned, but not super light toned. I feel like it can be worked, for, it can be used for many different skin tones. So let's get into this little get ready with me. So most of the products I'm gonna be using this week are products that you've either seen me use before or they're not really new to the market. So not going to be doing a whole lot of explaining in detail. I'll just kind of tell you guys how I'm doing them. So the first one is something that came in my Sephora Play, the, what was that one called? I can't remember what the box was called. It's their special box, the one that you had to be a VIP Rouge to get. So this is the Guerlain Lore, L apostrophe O-R, is it Lore? I have no idea. So I'm going to use this as my primer today. This is an okay primer. It's clear and it does have like some little gold specks into it. So if you like... It makes you feel a little fancy. I'm not sure that it really does much more for my skin. I don't really notice that it makes it look more hydrated or that it makes it look shiny or glowy or anything like that. It smells good. It smells almost just clean. It smells very clean. It does leave your face feeling a little bit sticky, so which is good for a primer. You want it to have that little bit of a tack so that it can hold on to your foundation and everything. So that's a good thing. So today I am finishing packing up. Oh my gosh, I've got so much packing to do, guys. I'm a little anxiety about it. I have a little bit of anxiety about it. I can't even speak. I'm gonna pull you guys in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Not that way, this way. So now you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to be using the foundation, the Stay Luminous foundation. I don't know if I've tried this one before. This is actually something I picked up a while back and I found it in my foundation drawer and I was like, oh goodness. I might be able to pump it if I open it. So, no, I haven't tried this because this I had to like prime it. So, it's ready now. Hopefully, this matches. I have gotten a little bit of sun, nothing drastic. But it looks like it matches pretty good. What do you guys think? I don't know. Looks like it's going to match. Let's hope so, anyway. I don't know how good of coverage or anything this is. So, I guess I am testing out something new. Now, I'm using this little beauty sponge. I don't even know who this beauty sponge is by. Is this the ones that came in the boxy charm? I can't remember. I can't remember if this is the one that came in the boxy term or not. It looks like it's a like a medium light light to medium coverage. Definitely not full coverage, but in the summertime, I don't prefer full coverage in the first place because I feel like you don't want all that cakiness onto your skin in the summer. So I'm okay with it not being completely full coverage. And I don't mind if you can see a little bit of my acne scars coming through. That doesn't bother me one bit. I've, I'm pretty comfortable with my skin. I go out with no makeup. I go out with makeup. It doesn't matter to me, honestly, because I'm like, people are gonna like you for you, not for what your skin looks like. So it doesn't really matter. You might get some stares and people like assuming that maybe you don't wash your face or something like that. I hate when people assume that. Because I have acne, they're like, oh, well, I guess you don't have good skincare. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's exactly why my skin is all messed up. So anyway. I'm gonna finish packing today. I've done my makeup bag, which that was the easy part. Not really. I guess it kind of was, but it wasn't really. But now I've got all the clothing to pack and I've got all the bathroom accessories and oh, it just, it's gonna take forever. I'm gonna put a little bit more foundation on just because I feel like it's not super full coverage, especially in this area here. I just said I didn't care and look at me adding a little bit more. It's not that I care, it's that I feel like it's it's not very even coverage. Like, can you tell it doesn't look like it's very even? So I'm hoping by adding another layer to make it look a little bit more even coverage. But we'll see. If you guys hear some loud music playing, my son is outside 
jamming. He's got football practice here soon. And so he's jamming. I guess he's getting himself pumped up for football. I think that a lot of people do that. Like, I know when I have something like a exercise that I need to do, I start pumping myself up. I'm like, hey, put on some music and just dance and start getting yourself ready because you got to get that cardio up. So I think that's why he does that. He goes outside and he like jams to his music, gets himself ready for football. So anyway, I did start pulling out all of my dresses and everything for the um, cruise. So I have all the dresses picked out. I have probably way too many dresses that I'm taking to be honest with you, but that's okay. That's okay. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'm going to use, I need to grab a primer actually because I think I've put my primer into my bag. I'm going to use the Essence Eye Heart Color Intensifying Primer. This is a good one. I don't think it's terrible by any means. And it does have a little bit of coverage. So if you have some discoloration on your eyelids, I think it'll help with discoloration. You guys hear Molly hollering. She's hollering now because he's coming in from playing his, he's coming in from playing his loud music, so. She's hollering at him. She's saying, what are you doing, dude? I feel bad that we have to leave our pets. I wish we could take them. That would be awesome if we could take them on the cruise, but <laughs> they don't allow pets on the cruise, which is, I'm sure there's a very good reason why. Where would you take them to use the bathroom? To the ocean? That would be a little bit awkward. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow palette. This is the Little Rock Pirates of the Caribbean set. I really do like this. I thought I wasn't going to love it, but it's actually pretty good. Very impressed. So I'm going to go in with this big fluffy brush from, I think this is a Visanti brush. I have no idea. Isium? I have no idea where that came from. So I'm going to go in with that, and I'm going to go into the shade down here. I'll show you. Down here, it's called Ghostly. I'm going to go with that, and that's what I'm going to set my eyelids with. Tap that off just a little bit. This is definitely, look how white that is. I mean, that's some pigmentation right there. If you're looking for pigmentation, it definitely has pigmentation. I take it all the way up to my brow bone because then if you don't really want to highlight your brow bone, <laughs> you don't have to. You already kind of did it. So I'm working on some collection videos. I've gotten a couple filmed, but I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to get filmed before we go on vacation because like I said, we still have a pile of packing to do. And my son is in D.C. right now. He's in D.C. learning about being an attorney, which is awesome. That makes me really happy that he's down there learning more about the, the career that he wants to pursue. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite blender, br blender brush. I think I smushed it or something the last time I washed it because it's not as fluffy as it used to be. This is the Beauty Junkies one. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is Bones. I'm going to go in right there. And we're going to use that as my transition. So we're just going to start transitioning our colors here. Getting it blended out. But that white did such a good job. Can you tell? Like, my eyelids are definitely covered. It almost looks a little gray tone, though. That's okay. We'll roll with it. I did go ahead and use my lip scrub this morning. I used my pot what is it called the popcorn lip scrub from Lush I had to look down and look at it I was like what is it called I used that and then I used the first day beauty the ultra repair intense lip lip balm I used that after I did the lip scrub and my lips feel really really good right now so hopefully they'll stay feeling good like that I'm thinking about taking a couple different lip balms with me to like when we go on our cruise just because I feel like I'm gonna need them because being out in the hot sun I feel like it really does dry my lips out so I'm thinking about taking some of those. But anyway, back to my son being at, um, in DC. He's down there and he's learning about everything and he did a, oh, I'm still going into this color right here, Bones, if you can see it. I'm just gonna set it down on my lap because it gets kind of hard holding it up like that. But he's down there, he's working for an attorney. He went to um, like law school. They had like a, a night law school that he went to down there while he was well, this week while he's there. So he's learning a lot, which is really cool. And then he did that, what is it called? When you, it's not a hotel. It's where you, you're staying at somebody else's place. What is that called? I have no idea, it's brain fart. That happens. <laughs> anyway, he's doing that and he's staying at this lady's house and she's super, super nice to him. So that made me happy. 
Now I'm going to go in, we're gonna do something. I'm not wearing this shirt today. I'm gonna go change my shirt. I'm gonna go in with the shade right here. This is Treasure. I'm gonna go in with that and I'm going to put that in the outer portion over here. Look how beautiful that color is. Like, and I'm barely just tapping it onto the eyelid. These colors are really, really nice. And there's not much fallout, can you tell? There's not a whole lot of fallout here. My chair is so noisy. It seriously sounds like I'm tooting each time I move. I'm like, my goodness, I need to get a new chair or something. It's time for a new chair. I'm being kind of messy with this because I'm going to clean it up after I'm done. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to use this color right here. This is the Silver Mist, if you can see. Silver Mist, I just wiped my brush off and I'm going in with the same brush. I'm gonna put this in the inner portion of my eyelid and I'm gonna kind of flow them together. But look how pretty that is. Those colors are really, really pretty. Going back into that color for the other eyelid. But a funny story, my son, he decided that he wants to kind of pack his lunch while he's there. So he was looking for places to get peanut butter, of all things, peanut butter and bread. So he was walking around, not walking around, driving around different places and he found like a local market and they didn't have anything. And then he went to this place and got inside and realized it was a, like a place where you need to have a membership to. And... <laughs> If there's any little ones watching, you might want to close your ears just for a second. So he goes inside and he realizes it's a place that you need to have a membership to. And then he says, Mom, I didn't know what to do. He said, I knew they were going to ask for my BJ card before I could leave. I literally had to, like, not say anything for a minute because I did not want to even discuss that with my child. I was like, that just sounds terrible. Terrible, terrible. Anyway, that was just really funny. I didn't really explain anything to him. I'm sure he probably knows exactly what it meant, but that just was funny. And I'm sorry if that offended anybody. I just thought it was quite hilarious in my opinion. Going back in with the same two colors just to kind of liven this up a little bit more. And then I'm kind of pulling this one over a little bit further just to make the this color be the most, the the dominant color, I guess you could say. So I'm going back in there and make it the dominant color. So that looks a little bit better. I feel like the silver was taking over a little too much. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw on some liner. I'm going to use the Lorac liner that, oh my gosh, it came in the palette. I do have some fallout on my arm. It went down my arm and onto my watch. Oh, nice. That's lovely. So I'm just going to use this for the inner portion of my eyelid. What is that called? Your waterline? Your tight line? I'm just going to tight line with it a little bit. And then tight line here. I don't really, I'm not really good at tight lining, so I just kind of close my eye and just stick it in there. <laughs> That's how I do it. I don't really want like liner on my eyelids today. I just kind of want a little bit more neutral looking. Now for my brows, I'm going to go very simple. I'm going to go in with my Essence Make Me Brow. I'm going to do something super simple with my eyebrows. I'm just going to use this. I think this does a pretty good job. And for the price, you can't beat it. I was watching a couple videos from Makeup by Tiffany D. And she was talking about how she uses lighter colors for her brows because her brows are very, very dark. And it makes a lot of sense because if you do use, if she would use a same color brow product, then I would think that her brows would almost look like they didn't belong on her face almost. So this color right here actually looks pretty good in my brow color. I do have brows. <laughs> my problem is that they're so light. So I just need to tiny bit darken them up. I don't want to super darken them. And this, I think, is like almost perfect. And it gives just a, almost like just a, an everyday type of look. It's nothing glam or anything like that, but it gives a good everyday look that I could pull off. Something super simple to throw on. 
So there that is. There is the brows. They're not super fancy or anything today and that's okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and conceal under my eyes. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I really like this concealer. I started using it again the other day and I'm like, why did I stop using you? You're really good. It's very, this one is not very um, brightening because I don't like the brightening concealers anymore. I just want to conceal the darkness, honestly. So as long as I'm concealing the darkness, we're good. I'm gonna go back in with my dirty little sponge here and just tap that in. And you'll see, I really think it does a good job of just kind of cleaning up the area and making it not look so dark under there or anything. And it's a little bit hydrating, which is good because I do have very, very dry skin. I have been using a new product. Um, it's called Luxme. I've been using that for my face and oh my goodness, it's made a really big difference in the way that my skin texture feels. It is a very, very nice product. You only need the tiniest little bit of the product. It's something that is, comes from like a tree, but I was very cautious when I first started using it. I used it in just a couple small areas because it, I think it contains nuts or something like that. And since you guys know, <laughs> nuts make me break out. I was like, um, we'll just try it in inconspicuous areas to see how good it does. But it really did a good job. It's making my skin feel very, very hydrated and it doesn't look so crepey during the day. So I really like that. So there we go for that. And then to set this, I'm gonna use the Essence. This is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. So I'm gonna use that. I'm just gonna dab very, very lightly into it because this is definitely something that will make you matte. I just want enough to where it's kind of setting that concealer. Not enough to where it's gonna look crepey or creepy or anything like that. So here we go. And that looks better. I don't look so, don't look like I need sleep. <laughs> okay, so that part's done. As far as bronzer this week, I'm going to use this right here. This is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. I'm going to, I'm gonna do something a little bit different with it. I'm going to put this onto my beauty sponge. I'm just gonna dab it onto my beauty sponge. You'll see, I'm putting it like that onto my beauty sponge. And then I'm going to kind of, I don't like to put it directly on my face because I feel like I can get too much. If I do it like this, I feel like it gives me just enough bronziness to my skin to where I look like I have a nice golden suntan, but it doesn't look streaky or anything. Do you, what do you think? See, do you see what I mean? Like the difference? I think it looks better like that. So again, I'm just kind of wiping it onto my sponge here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take it up into my hairline too. Make sure I do that on both sides so that it doesn't look like that drastic change there. Pull my hair back and get it there. Bring it down, you're kinda of doing the number three. And you're gonna take it under a little bit. I just think it gives you like such a nice bronzy glow. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but in my opinion, it gives you a nice, a nice bronzy glow. Okay, now I need to do my eyeshadow, I was going to say, my mascara. So I'm going to be using the Essence, the I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. This is actually pretty good. I like the brush on, this is the one, not the one, I just lied. This is not the one. I don't like the brush on this one. I'll show you the difference. The brush on this one is that plasticky type of wand, and I don't like that wand. So that's one that's actually going to be taken out of my collection because, no. Now this one here, the Essence False Lashes Mascara Dramatic Volume Unlimited. This one, the wand's a little bit better. It's a little bit more, it looks, I don't know, what do they call that wand? Is that a natural hair, bris hair bristles? I like this wand just a little bit better, so this is the one we're gonna use today. It is a very sticky, not sticky, but wet formula, so I need to be careful because you guys know I am terrible at mascara. But I like the little sh thinner end here because it helps to kind of get in I like that too. So I need to I got makeup open everywhere. I need to start closing my stuff up. <laughs> Making a mess. Making a mess. I'm gonna pull my mirror in a little bit closer so I can see what the heck I'm doing. I didn't curl my lashes, darn it. Darn it. You know what? I'll show you a difference. We'll do one side curled and one side not. Trying to wipe off that tip there. The tip is all dirty. Look how much stuff's coming off the tip. It's too wet. 
So I need to clean up the tip. Now it's better. I like a wet mascara, but not overly wet. I like a more drier type of formula. I think someone had told me to like leave the Essence mascaras open and they dry out a little bit and then they they work better. So I need to try that with this one especially because it's it's a very, very wet formula. Now let's curl the other side. So I put my one curler, it's already packed. So I have this one. I don't even know where this one came from. I think it's a physician's formula one. I have no idea. It's just a pink, or is that pink or red? I think it's red. So I'm gonna curl the lashes on this side. Oh, I just got my eyeball. Let's curl it. All right, let's see if it makes a difference when I put the mascara on. I don't know if it will or not. We'll find out here in about two seconds. Or maybe more than that because you guys know I'm not that great at mascara so it may take me a little bit longer than two seconds. Oh man, I got it on my eyelid. What's new? What's new Scooby-Doo? Oh my gosh. I am such a klutz when it comes to mascara. I don't even think I can try any harder. I just, <laughs> to be more messy with it. It's just, can you tell the difference in the eyelashes? Is there a difference? I have no idea right now. I'm gonna have to clean up my eyelids obviously, but I don't really see much of a difference from curling it to not curling it using this mascara. Now there is a difference when I use the Stila Huge Extreme Mascara. I totally see a difference in when I curl it and when I don't. So this one, I'm just not sure if I see a big difference. So I'm gonna finish putting it on this side, my second coat, and then we'll clean up the eyelid. This isn't a super glamorous get ready with me, honestly, today. It's just, I don't think I really do ever super glamorous get ready with me. I'm just, honestly, as long as I have some makeup on, I feel pretty. That makes me feel pretty. <laughs> Is that silly? Isn't that a song? I think that's a song. I feel pretty. Yes, that is a song. It is a song. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I'm not gonna put it on my bottom lashes. Even though I know some of you guys really think it looks good on me like that, I just, something about it really bothers me. Something about mascara on my bottom lashes just bothers me. I don't know why, but it just does. I think it's like one of those things where it makes me feel like it looks like a spider and I'm like, I don't like spiders or snakes. Okay, so let's clean up your eyelid here now. Hopefully that's dry enough to clean it up. And we may have to, no, it's blending that out a little bit better too, actually. I think it looks better now. So I might not even touch up, oh, this side we may have to. So if I touch up one side, we're probably gonna have to touch up the, both of them so that they still match. I told you guys, when I do my makeup, it's like one step forward and five steps backwards. It's never an easy thing, so gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and we're going to pop back on a little bit more of those colors I'm gonna go back into this silver mist and we're just going to lightly tap it right here so that I don't get it into my mascara I've done that several times going back and fixing fixing my mistakes gotten it all in my mascara and then been like really good job Tiff okay There we go, that looks better. Now I'm gonna go back over to Treasure and just put a little bit more on. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap reminds me of, you guys ever seen Full House when Stephanie got her, her tap shoes? <laughs> that was a funny episode. Anyway, don't know why I just thought of that. Random, random, random. So I want to know, did you guys order the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette? Did you do it? I had some more birthday car or cash that I was like, you know what? I'm going to spend the last of my birthday cash. I ordered it, even though I know I'm on a no buy, but technically I didn't buy it for myself, right? That's how I'm going to look at it today. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to look at it like that. I hope it gets here before I leave on vacation. That's the problem though. I'm like, oh gosh, I hope it gets here so that I can at least play with it a little bit. 
it may end up coming with me. I'll have to just bubble wrap that thing or something because I'm thinking about if it comes before I go, then I'm going to take it and bubble wrap it. Now I'm going to go down here. We're going to do something completely different on the bottom lash line. I'm going to do this. Actually, let's do something else first. Let's start with, what do we have on the eyes? We're going to start with this blue. This is the Starry Night. This one does have quite a bit of fallout when you touch it, but when you put it on your eyes, I don't notice quite as much. It's just in the pan itself when you're touching it. But I think that's a lot of Lorac shadows. I think they all have a little bit of kick up. But their shadows are so pigmented that I forgive them for having that little bit of fallout. You're forgiven. So I'm just going to run this along my bottom lash line. So there's how that looks. It looks very colorful. I look like, it almost looks like red, white, and blue. <laughs> Doesn't it? I look very patriotic. Now I'm going to go into Sea Haze. I'm going to put that towards the front part of my lash line and blend that into the blue a little bit. There, now it doesn't look so patriotic, which that might be a good eye look to use for the upcoming 4th of July. I think, we're, I'm not sure what island we're going to be on on 4th of July. I don't even know. Maybe, I, have the, I know it's not that Bahamas. I don't know where the heck we're going to be at. I have no idea. All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys back out just a little bit because I feel like you guys are super, super close. Now, there we go. Now you can see my bronzing little detail that I did. I like the way that it looks. It looks a little bit natural. Now I'm going to go in with the Lorac blush palette, so or blush face palette, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm going to go into the shade right here. This is Caribbean. I'm gonna go into that shade right there with my big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to apply it very lightly onto my cheeks. Is that lightly? I don't know. Is it lightly? Kind of not so much. I'm going to go back into that shade and do it on the other side. Focusing it more onto the apples of my cheek and then I bring it up a little bit. I think I've told you guys before, I like bringing it up like that because I feel like it kind of lifts my cheeks up a little bit. It gives me like almost like a little bit of a facelift. So that's pretty awesome. Now I'm going to tap just very lightly and just dust it across my nose to give myself that Looks like I just got a sunburn look. So there that is. I don't think I pulled a lip product this week to use in my basket here. I need to, which is a good thing, the drawer's right below you guys where I need to get a lip product from, so that's okay. We can get one very quickly. Now I'm going to go into the shade right here. This is Destined. I'm gonna go into that one and also into Fortune. So I'm double dipping and I'm going to put my highlight on Look how pretty that looks. It's not over highlighted, but it, you can definitely tell there's highlight. Go back in. You can really see it on this side. But I don't know if you can tell it or not. It's accentuating my pores just a little bit. Can you tell that? Let me zoom you in so you can see. I'm seeing it majorly in this mirror, although it is a magnified mirror because I'm going blonde. So let me see if you can see how it's magnifying my pores there. Do you see my pores? Oh, they're a little bit more magnified in that area especially so I don't know I don't know if it always does it that way I have no idea I'll have to play with it a little bit more to find out I don't know I didn't notice that before let me tap it with my little bro my little beauty tool hopefully I don't put too much <laughs> which side did I put the bronzer on we're just gonna tap it this way tap, 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 tap. see if that helps it uh, not so much not so much so if you have bigger pores I definitely think it does accentuate your pores so just be leery of that now let me go ahead and grab a lip product out of here because we are done oh guys I'm going to go ahead and finish packing today I'm going to oh my gosh what color is that what is that it's a nude sticks this is whisper <laughs> let's try it let's be advent advantageous adventurous is that what I, want? I don't know it's not bold, it's just a very nude. And this is like almost too nude. Am I even putting anything on my lips? I don't even see it. Do you see it? What? It's gone on, you can see it now. I think it's just very, oh yeah. I think it's very close to my, my natural look color. Oh, I don't know. I think I have tried this before. I'm pretty sure I remember right now. I don't like it. Yo, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's grab a little thing back here. We'll clean that off. Mm-mm. 
no oh gosh no now I'm gonna go into the Too Faced Melted this is in Sh Ch Chihuahua Chihuahua guys my camera cut off I don't know how long I've been recording how long have I been sitting here maybe it's just taking me very long today to get ready I have no idea oh gosh I got lipstick all over my teeth that's pretty I don't know if you guys saw what color lipstick I put on I put on the Too Faced Melted Chihuahua so I put that on just because I feel like it's a very neutral color and yes I will do something with my crazy crazy hair it's looking so wild today but look at this like look I look like a mad person <laughs> this is awful like oh my gosh like what do you do when your hair looks like this and you're like I'd rather just wear it in a button because honestly this is just this is not cool <laughs> this is just a really bad hair day like so that's why it goes up like this I'll show you guys how quick I can put my hair up in a bun I do it like this and then I twist it like this and that's how it sits and then I take that a little there's bobbles bobble things and I put that around there and there we go <laughs> that's, that's our beautiful hairstyle for today <laughs> I will fix it once I put my clothes on so no worries I promise I'll fix it anyway that is the get ready with me today and I did use those two products from the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean set I really am enjoying them although I'm noticing like I said that the highlight is giving my pores a little bit of it, they're accentuating my pores a little bit I think I may have put too much bronzer on because I feel a little Oompa Loompa ish maybe it's not even bronzer what was that contour I felt a little bit Oompa Loompa ish I don't know if you can tell it or not but that's in the mirror I can see it now I'm like whoa dude Mm, back off the bronzer <laughs> anyway I hope you guys have a wonderful week and you guys will not see a get ready with me from for a little while because like I said we will be on vacation for almost three weeks we'll be gone so I hope you guys have a wonderful next couple of weeks I will have some videos that I have pre-recorded for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoy those but if I don't comment back it's because we won't have Wi-Fi or anything like that on the boat but I do appreciate your kind comments and your thumbs ups and even a thumbs down if you don't enjoy a video that's fine but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.